Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add attachments and files to a Google Meet so that they are automatically available to all your students when they join that Google Meet. So let's jump into it. Now, if you're like me, then you are having a lot of Google Meets at the moment. Now, having your students automatically gain access to files when those meetings take place is incredibly useful. Now, instead of having to manually share all the files during a meeting or dropping links into the chat, there is a way of automatically attaching them to the meeting. Now, in order for this to work, we have to schedule our meeting in Google Calendar. So let's do that now. We're going to open up our Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab and navigate to the calendar. Now let's say that I have a Google meeting in a couple minutes. I'm going to schedule that meeting. We're going to call this a demo meet with attachments. And then we're going to go to more options. So here in more options, we get that big overview page. Now there are two things that we'll have to do here. The first thing is we have to add Google meet video conferencing. So make sure that you click on that button. And this will now automatically generate a link for this event. We're going to scroll down. And in order for us to add attachments to this event, we're going to click on the attachment button in that description. This way that those attachments become part of the event. And because the event has a Google meeting attached to it, those attachments are part of the Google meeting. So let's do that now. We're going to click on attachments and select one of our files. I'm going to just select this random text that I have on my Google Drive. This is a demo account and we're going to attach that. Let's invite some guests to this Google Meet. We're going to invite a demo student account. Let's go ahead and invite that student. I'm the organizer. Student one is invited and then we're going to save this right now. Do you want to send an invitation? We can send an invitation, but you don't have to do that. It's automatically now requesting me to change the permissions because the files have been attached to this event, but that student does not have any editing rights or viewing rights to that file. I'm going to give that person viewing rights. So let's go ahead and click on invite. There we go. And we can now close our calendar. Now closing our calendar doesn't mean that we no longer have that link because we've used Google Calendar and scheduled this meeting we have an overview here on the Meet homepage. You can see that I have an upcoming meeting, demo meet with attachments. So let's go ahead and jump in and make sure that everything works. We're going to open this again. This is the teacher view. We're going to just mute ourselves and join that meeting. Now as a teacher, you can double check and make sure that there are attachments by looking in the bottom left corner. The bottom left corner will show you an attachment icon. You can see that icon right here. When I click on that, they will see that there are attachments for this meeting. One attachment and I can open that file by clicking on it. As you can see, this works, but let's have a look at the student view. This is our students demo account and they are also going to navigate to meet. Because I scheduled the meeting, they too see that notification that there is an upcoming meeting and they can click on it. Once they've clicked, they can join. We're going to turn off our camera, mute our microphone and join the meeting. The student has the exact same view as the teacher. In the bottom left, they see an attachment icon. When they click on that, they see that this meeting in the second tab has attachments. And when they click on that, that will also open that file. Now, because this student has viewing rights, not editing rights, you can see they cannot edit this file. They can always request edit access, but then you as a teacher can decide whether you want to grant that or refuse the access. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.